It's Shulman Sanjay FM 104 in Dublin in Ireland. It's an absolute pre- pleasure because I'm a super fan of yours. Um, Thank you. So uh, I love the movie. You're amazing in every role you do. But I was thinking about it. American Idol 2003. Obviously, you did an Aretha song as one of your auditions. So does this feel like a full circle kind of thing for you? Is this have an extra significance in your life taking on the, this this huge icon? Yes, you said it all. Like, I still sit with it. Like, when I think back to my American Idol audition, I'm like, it's only a story God could write. Because who wouldn't think it was planned? And I, there's no way for me to know that this would even happen one day. But, um, and it's a dream to play her because I've always been a fan, you know, of yeah. her. Yeah. Of course, of course. And, be, and being an Oscar winner, Jennifer Hudson, I was wondering, do you now walk into projects like this with a little bit of a swag? Do you know what it kind of, does it give you an extra bit of confidence knowing at home in that cabinet, you know, you can just pull it out if anybody questions anything. No, sir. The first <laughs> thing I say, because it comes with a certain expectation. So when, Anytime I walk into a project, the first thing I say, yes, okay, I haven't asked and all, but I am a student and I am here to learn. I, I don't think I know it all. Teach me, walk me through it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you don't want those pressures like, oh, I have an Oscar. Mm-mm. That's not me <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, no. You'd, be too, you'd be too down to earth, I can only imagine. But after you won the Oscar, I believe Aretha called you at some point shortly after that to say yeah. you, you should play her. Is that, is that true? And that must have felt like... You, I'm sure you must remember that vividly, surely a moment like that. Oh my God, I will, I will never forget it. It was right after I won the Oscar for Dream Girls, and we had a meeting in New York. So that was like 15 years ago, I want to say. And I, she said, "Are you shy or something?" I was like, "Well, I am sitting at the table with the Queen of Soul, like Jesus." But to think after coming off of something, winning an Oscar, and then I'm sitting at the table with Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul. That, that's a lot to take in. It certainly is. I mean, you both have church in common, I was thinking, I suppose, during your childhood. So I was wondering, was that something that bonded you in real life? Do you know what it means? Was it something that maybe that shared experience maybe ha- helped with the relationship? I think so. I think it, it was something that was needless. It's like, we don't even need to mention that aspect. That was a common ground between the two of us. Yeah. Um, that's always been there. So that was something that, I could relate to and completely understood. Um, I feel like the biggest difference if, in that, if anything, would be she was a what we call a PK, a preacher's kid. I, I didn't grow up a preacher's kid, but it, it felt very similar to it, you know, and yeah, yeah. and under, understood her in that way. And obviously that element of her life and it's similar to mine as well. Yeah. And Aretha inspires so many artists. I mean, she's a legend. It, what's the one thing that sticks with you? Maybe whether it was advice, maybe it's just a performance she did. Is there one thing that that like you that you go to maybe as an inspiration in your own music or your life? Well, I think it's more things now to draw from after playing her that and then learning of her story, like just her owning her her voice and taking charge of for what she wanted. You know, it's so much power in that. And it has truly inspired me to want to approach life and, and whatever my goals and dreams are in that same way. Yeah. And is, is, I believe you learned piano for this. Is, is that true? And have you, have you kept on it? Where is it? It's yeah, I know. right it's here. It's got a prop yes. on it. <laughs> That's the piano right there. Um, yes, I still do it. And, and that was the one thing that I was like, okay, this is the most unnatural part to me. I was like, if we went to, had to shoot tomorrow, I could be able to sing and act. But one thing I can't do is play that piano. So that was the first thing I started with in preparing to portray her. And it's something that I, I literally still do. Brilliant. Thank you, Jennifer, for talking to us. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for Take having care. me. Take care. Bye-bye. You too.